right guys so did the block heater install already and we finished it um, the bad news is, is the video footage I took that day got corrupted and I lost it um, so I'm gonna go over it real quick uh -oh. what we did first is we took the skid plate off it was just a few 10 millimeter bolts uh, that way so when the fluid uh, what fluid I was going to lose would catch into a bucket without catching the dirt from the skid plate. Um, I also had to buy a tool um, to remove this plug. Um, took a 12 mil millimeter Allen wrench key, as you can see. Um, and here's the rubber gasket on it. Uh, so once you get the skid plate removed, you go ahead and what we did is we put the socket in this because it's there's not a whole lot of room. So we put the, we went ahead and seated the socket completely in here, and then took a ratchet. And it's not it's we were expecting it to be real tight, and it was pretty loose. Um, and there's only 40, 41 pounds of torque on these things, uh, so which is not much, just a little more than hand tight really. Um, so. Uh, you'll start to back this plug out, and we thought it was stripped out at one point as it got really hard. It started off real easy, and as soon as you back it out, about one turn, you're going to start losing some fluid. So make sure when you before you start pulling this out, you have a bucket to catch your fluid. <clears throat> so, anyways, we started backing this out, and it got a little tough. It just kept going. Um, it's just a little tight, that's all. Um... And as you can see, there's quite a bit of threads on there. Um, so you'll back this out. Um, I would suggest having your plug, your heater plug, ready to screw in. Um, as soon as we got this out, we went ahead and threaded the heater in, um, which is already installed on here. Uh, I'll put a picture of it, and it, it'll come up on the screen so you can see that. Um, but real, other than that, I mean, it was, I was expecting it to take a while. Um, me, I had a buddy of mine, uh, that helped me out. Uh, him and I did it and it took us about 30 minutes. Um, really, cause it's just a matter of getting this off, especially if you have the parts. We didn't, I didn't have the parts, so it actually took me about an hour because I had to find a part or a tool, I should say, not a part to figure out what that was because there's really no information on this, so. Um, I believe it was a 12 millimeter. I'll have to double check. I had to go to O'Reilly and buy a, a set of Allen wrench keys on a socket because um, they didn't have it individually. So I had to buy a whole set, and it was like 20 bucks. I still have the set. Um, let me find it real quick, and we'll I'll, I'll be back here in a second. Uh, yeah, so it was a 12, as you can see. Here's 12 millimeter is what we used. Um, like I said, you just best to seat it on here all the way completely and then put your socket on it and again it doesn't take a whole lot of effort it came out pretty easy um, so once you screw unscrew the plug have your uh, heater ready and screw it right in um, make sure you back thread it a little bit so that way it's going on correctly and then uh, so you'll thread it on uh, I don't know what size wrench you need. I use an adjustable wrench, um, and it worked out pretty good. Um, I haven't had any leaks. As far as fluid loss, um, on the forms it said you're going to lose a cup, which is not the case. You'll lose a lot more than that cup. Uh, I actually ended up losing, I would say, about a pint of fluid is what I lost. Um, so you'll have to put some fluid in it. Uh, other than that, just hand threaded it on there real good and then tightened it up with a wrench. And then you just plug your cord into it, tighten down the nut that holds the cord into the, the heater, and then you just route your cord. I routed my cord up over the top of the power steering. Um, let's see. Yeah. As you can see, there's the cord. Runs over the top of the power steering. It goes behind this here, as you can see. And then runs down to the frame. And then it comes out of the grill.
right here. And I just have it zip tied very loosely there. So when I'm using it, I pull it out, plug it in. I don't need it. It just gets tucked back in there out of the way. So, like I said, it's a really easy job, especially if you have small hands. Uh, that helps. So if you have a friend or a buddy with smaller hands that's able to get in there, it makes the job a lot easier. Um, like I said, after that, once you get the thread the it threaded as far as you can, you start using the wrench, tighten it up. Again, it uses it needs to be tightened down the 41 pounds of torque, uh, which is just a little more than hand tight. There's not a whole lot of torque on it. Um, once you get it installed and you get your cord routed, uh, I went ahead and started it up and let it run, uh, idling till it got up to temp. Um, once it got up to 10, I went ahead and turned on the heater. Um, on mine, I have the automatic climate control, so I turned it all the way up to high and put it on defrost and just let it blow. Um, and then we added some fluid to the reservoir. Um, and it, I haven't had any issues. It, it automatically bled itself, and I haven't had any overheating problems. Like I said it's pretty much it's just a matter of getting that plug out, screwing in the heater, and you're done. Um, so again, it's a real easy install. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, like I said, you'll need a 12 millimeter Allen wrench key. Uh, you'll need an adjustable wrench that opens up pretty big. I would suggest you buy your heater and then take your heater to find make sure you have the right tool to thread it on. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's all easy to do. You throw your skid plate back on. Again, that takes a 10 millimeter socket, I believe, if I remember correct, correctly. And once you do that, you're pretty much done. Um, I drove it about 20 miles after we finished. Just took it down the highway and back. Um, and it, it was didn't overheat. Ran fine. We added some fluid and it, it's back to where it should be. Uh, so the install was a lot easier than I expected. Uh, what took me the time was running around trying to find the tool to pull that plug out. Once I had that, I was set to go. So, if you have any questions, comment below and I'll answer those as best I can. Uh, thank you guys for watching my videos. Uh, we're getting more subscribers, which is nice. Uh, my next video, I think I'm going to do a 5,000K update or review. Uh, I just hit 5,200 miles, and there's a difference in the motor, as you can imagine. So I think we're going to do a 5K update video here soon and discuss some of the changes I've noticed. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.